Welcome back to the lore and legend of Super Robot Tyson. What do the bomb, the Cambellians, and the Bosonians have in common? They form the Romantic Trilogy, ladies and gentlemen. The Romantic Trilogy, known only as Voltes V, Combatler V, and Tosho Daimos. Let's go in order, shall we? Voltes V. Voltes V being the first of the three of the Nagahama Romantic Trilogy. Voltes V tells the story of three brothers, one orphan, and one ninja chick. Their missing father, Professor Go, is missing in action because he is trying to save the Earth by promoting peace to the Bosonians. It hasn't been said what what happened to their father. I think throughout the series, in which I own. They do meet their father, and I think they would have to they would have to kill him in order to save the save the earth. Now, to further explain why it is called the Romantic Trilogy, before I get more into um Voltus 5. Back in the 70s, or early 80s, the late 70s, early 80s. They, they sold plenty of um, Super Robot merchandise in Japan. However, unlike, cer unlike certain shows, in which you usually see, you know, you run a mil monster of the day, and, and you know, monster fight, robot, robot hero versus monster of the day, little plot, credits roll and all that. Well, these these three series basically are like what Macross and Gundam are. They tell about war. Here, it's more it's more about the drama that goes on between you know human and alien. Like, for instance, Voltes V, as I'm going back to it, they had internal strife within the Bosonian camp. Mainly because of Prince Heinel. Prince Heinel basically wanted to invade the Earth, and he, it never happened because of Voltes V. Yet as, they, yet, as they grew closer, and of course, this is also being illustrated through story in... Super Robot Tyson J. They find out something. Through their father, they find out that Heinel is the half brother. Being that they too are half Bosonian, they are somewhat related. However, why don't why don't I have Voltage Five on here? There we go. And therefore, um, Voltez, if I fought Hino's mech in a battle to the finish, and therefore, Kenichi fought Hino in a sword fight to the finish. Kenichi won, and at the last moment, he just called him brother. He accepted the fact that he is their brother, half brother. And with that, I mean, you have to admit how 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 bad it was. It's like his crew were mainly made of, of um, backstabbers, except for Catherine. Catherine 
basically gave him compassion before she lost to Voltes V. And seeing as how the way the story worked out, that's how it was with Voltes V. The story worked out the way it should have been. There's a bit of tragedy on all sides. The brothers go are, well, without a mother or father. They're basically orphans, but they have each other. But they still have Professor Hamaguchi and Big Falcon. As far as that goes, as you have seen, Voltes V is not as powerful as Combatler V. Only through the, only by sheer will of Tenkuken or the Heaven Sword can it be that powerful or equally as powerful as Combatler V. Now, if we look at the stats. I, uh, he has the following weapons, the Chodenchi Lash, the Chodenchi Top, the Voltes Bazooka, Tenkuken, Tenkuken V-Slash, Choden Chodenchi Ball V-Slash, and of course, he also has a form-up attack with Voltes 5, which is the Grand Dasher Tenkuken V-Slash. Now we move to the second, um, the second of the three, which is known as Chodenchi Machine Combatler V. Combatler V is a combination of three words. Combine, combat, and battle. Combatler V. Combatler V was different because they needed five different, five different, um, poses that followed in the legacy of Voltes V. Now, Combatler V has the following characters as their pilots. Hyoma, Juzo, Daisak, Chizuru, and Kosuke. Aoi Hyoma, Juzo Nanigawa, Daisak, I forgot what Daisaku's last name was. Chizuru Nambara and Kosuke Kita. Kita. All of them having their own strengths and weaknesses, but combined, but put together, they form Combat Levy. And they fought the forces of the Combellions. And I believe the leader was called um, Aurelius, I think. Same rules apply, except that. I think it was a bit different. Combat Levy was rather different because it suffered from the same thing that Voltes V did. Mainly the the here the um the enemy had problems of their own because they didn't have any trustworthy enemies. You know, trustworthy cohorts that that can basically join together, pull in their thoughts and try to take down Combat V. Sadly, Combatler V's storyline was never brought into J. But that doesn't mean that Combatler V isn't part of the SRW universe as as well as Voltage 5. Actually, these two units were around in the um, Super Nintendo days. And they also were in the Alpha the Alpha series as well. 
later versions they were voiced. And of course they also had a team up attack. Now combatler's weapons are as follows. Combatler has the V-Deza, the Chodenshi Yo-Yo, the Twin Lancer, the Big Blast, or as I like to call it, the Cock Rocket, the Grand Dasher, and the Chodenshi Spin. The Chodenshi Spin is somewhat um, team upable because with combat with, with both his five. Oh, you can do the the Chodenshi V Slash, in which, in which, if you haven't seen it, Voltus Five calls forth the Tenkuken. Come Battler V fires the Chodenshi Tatsumaki. The hurricane boosts Combatler 5 into the air. It does the V slash, but Combatler V joins in with the Chodenshi spin, therefore making the double attack oh so much beautiful. Now the third of the series the third series was a love story, and it's called Tosho Daimos. Tosho Daimos tells the story of the Earth and the bomb. And not bomb as in B-O-M-B, -B, but B-A-A-M, bomb. They were about to make peace with the bomb when, when all of a sudden, a traitor appeared in the mist, killing both leaders of um, the negotiations, and therefore war was beginning. So therefore, it took one man to stop the invasion and perhaps make peace like his father did with the bomb people. And the boy's name is Kazuya. He basically was the pilot of the uh, of Tosho Daimos. Kazuya Yuzaki or Richard Hartford in the English dub in the Philippines. Now, I've only seen the movie, but I've never seen the actual show. But what Tosho Daimos is, is he's a mimic. It basically mimics the um, user's attack. So, since Kazuya uses... Since Kazuya uses um, Karate, well, so does Daimos. And namely, since he since he uses power attack, so does Daimos. I really have no idea what happens when you put all three together, but I'm pretty sure it's something. I believe Daimos is in... I'm not certain, but he might be in SRWA. And for the Game Boy... Uh, and for the Game Boy... A was the first in the um, in the series to actually introduce extra characters such as um, the Nashiko, Dragonar, and from then on, it was in this order: A, R, D, and J. So, Combatler V, Voltus V, and Daimos form the Romantic Trilogy. 
the part about Daimos is it was a love story. It was a love story like um other other such notables as Mac Ross, Mospida. Tech Man, Blade, and the like. But, um... Of course, it was tragic. Diamonds was a pretty tragic one. But if you can't find Diamonds on YouTube, look up Starburst. They should have, like, a movie version of it. It's probably a quick study if you want to understand about the series itself. I have no... I have no data about how it is in Super Robot Tyson, but I'm pretty sure it's something. Something worth to be seen. Just like, um, the J9, um, trilogy. So, I, there's nothing more I can say about that. I mean, you got three powerhouses. Three powerhouses! For the price of one. You can't get much more badass than that. So I think what I'm going to do. Is when we come back. I still have G Gundam to cover. Zeramir. And who else? Oh yes, and finally... Finally would be... Kido Senkan! Narishiko. So yeah, when we come back, we're going to go th through the world of. Oh my! Oh, actually, did I go through Gundam? Yeah, I went through Gundam. So next after that will be. The mysterious, yet powerful, Zedaima. And following after that, the last of the last will be Kido Senkan Narishiko. So stay tuned, the lore and legend of Super Robot Tyson will continue right after this.